you plan on working in the parts department, you're going to need this one. Hey, I'm going to make a, a quick little video. I started to open this box, and I know what's in this box. And I wanted to make a point for every mechanic should know, a lot of you entry-level techs, you're going to end up in the dealerships, and the, these are the type of jobs you're going to be doing where you're going to be opening up UPS. And a bunch of us being techies, we like to carry knives with us, right? And even if this was a box cutter, this is definitely a way that you do not want to open this box. One thing I will really encourage you to always do is to open up the box and check the invoice first so that you can figure out what's in it. When you're opening all this stuff up from Parts Unlimited, Tucker Rocky, you know, drag places like that, you have to have some idea to look in here and go, you know, okay, what do I got in here that could be hurt? when I go to open it. If I just whip this, like I said, take a knife in here and dig through here, there could be something really close to the edge. Now, per most shipping standards, we're supposed to have two inches of packing peanuts all the way around, from the top, the sides, the bottom. I tell you, not everybody's doing that. It just is what it is. So I could have merchandise that's pretty close to the top here. And the other thing to think about, what if this is inventory that's just gonna go on a shelf? It's just going to be on the dealer display. Should we have knife marks going through the, the bubble wrapping? We wouldn't want to do that. So let's kind of see what we got going on here. Your deal is get the invoice out first. I'd open up here and I could see that I have seats in here. So that probably means that they're going to be leather. So I would want to take, and we have a cool tool that Alex had, uh, gave us, one of our students here. And this was a box cutter to where and you could just take and get in here like so and then open that package and then what I like to do you know maybe just get it started and then just try see if you can't just rip it open instead of getting in here like I said and you know getting a knife out here and digging into this I don't know how many times the dealers told me over my eight years of teaching oh man you aren't gonna believe it something as simple as opening up a box somebody took a knife out or even just a box cutter with you know your one inch blade and they hurt the product that's inside. So let's just take a look. I, I quit when I was doing this because I was kind of curious how close the packaging would be. So as I open this up, you can see here, it looks like, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? No, what's right there? Look at it, there's, there's something right there. Now that isn't gonna be hurt in shipping, but if I would have taken my knife here and went like this, what would have I done to the surface of that? Scratched it. I would have scratched it would have been a bad day. So let's just do a quick little summary. This is just meant to be a quick video. Your little checklist on this. Number one, open up the invoice. Find out what's inside that box. Number two, be extremely cautious thinking what you're doing. If I'm going to use a knife like this and that's what I have available to me, get your finger all the way up on there so that all you're doing is this, okay? That you're not going to go through the thickness of both sides of the cardboard. If you're unsure, you're unaware, and you've never thought about this, or this is your first day thinking about this, take your knife like this and measure the thickness of a piece of flap. Take a piece of cardboard out there and figure out how much knife that you can have to go through there. If I firmly support this, I'm not gonna cut myself. I know we're supposed to hold knives in the right way, but take and go like this, and then I should be able to you know, do this. And I, notice how I didn't even cut the bottom flap. Yep. Okay, so I just made that mark there, and I did not cut it. Okay, so that's my tip of the day uh, for you technicians that end up in the parts department. Think about it, be diligent, and quit ruining parts when you open them.